This delightful fellow here is Rupert M. Baggs, the most respected sim in all of Tomerang. What does the M stand for, you ask? Oh, but of course. <laughs> Together with his devoted wife Tabitha and his loyal sons Rupert Jr. and Tommy, he needs a home fit for a landlord. Okay, I don't think I can keep this voice up for much longer. So we're doing a Sims 4 speed build today and this is my first build using the new for rent expansion pack. I've built this for a let's play I'm planning that will use the for rent pack and this is the first of two builds for that let's play. This build is the home of the wealthy landlord and his family who you saw at the beginning of this video. The second build will be coming soon in another video and will be the very rundown squalid apartments that his tenants live in. So while you watch me build this very middle class house, I thought I'd tell you a bit more about the Let's Play and its characters. In case you don't know, the new Sims 4 pack for rent allows us to build functional apartments and play as landlords or tenants. As you saw earlier, our landlord for this Let's Play is Rupert M. Baggs. He is a rather wealthy man and also rather pretentious. For Rupert, everything is about money and status. Money is power. He learned from an early age that the way to make money is to charge as much rent as people will pay and spend as little as possible on the properties he owns, which of course leaves his tenants with a lot of unpleasant issues. The idea of this Let's Play is really to explore the contrast in the way Rupert and his family live their lives compared to his much less wealthy tenants. I've built Rupert's house in Tomerang, which is a Southeast Asian inspired world because it's the world that comes with the new pack and it's very beautiful and I thought it would be a lovely backdrop for a big fancy house. However, in my mind this is going to be a very British let's play and we will absolutely be playing with various British stereotypes. If there's one thing we Brits are good at, it is laughing at ourselves. So even though there is an undertone of social commentary happening here, I do want this let's play to be mainly about having fun and it's not meant to be taken too seriously. Just a super quick break to say, if you're enjoying this video, please like and maybe even subscribe. It means the world to me and it helps me grow my channel and my community. Thank you. So let me tell you a bit more about Rupert. Rupert is, as you would probably expect from everything I've said so far, a materialistic sim and a snob, and he is also a proper sim. He doesn't take kindly to any behaviour which he deems inappropriate, including potty humour, pranks or silly behaviour. Needless to say, I am planning for some of his tenants to do things that Rupert definitely wouldn't approve of, but that's a story for another video. Rupert is married to his wife of 20 years, Tabitha Fairfax Banks. Like Rupert, Tabitha is materialistic and a snob, arguably even more so than her husband. Tabitha definitely looks down on those less wealthy than her and sees herself as superior to Rupert's tenants and, quite frankly, to most other people as well. She does have some good points. She cares deeply for her children and wants the best for them, which in her mind involves having lots of money and nice things. However, she definitely married for money and let's just say she and Rupert have drifted apart over the years. Tabitha and Rupert have two sons, the eldest being Rupert Baggs Jr, who is very much his father's son. He greatly admires ambitious, hard-working sims and in his mind his father embodies both of these things. Although he's only 17, Rupert Jr. is already following in his father's footsteps and getting into property development, currently acting as an apprentice to Rupert Sr. The one way the two Ruperts differ though is their attitude to silly behaviour. As I said earlier, Rupert Sr. doesn't take kindly to pranks, which he deems inappropriate. Rupert Jr, however, loves a good prank and this can sometimes cause friction between the two of them. The youngest Bag's son is 15-year-old Tommy and he's kind of the odd one out in this family. Don't get me wrong, he loves them and appreciates everything they've provided for him, but he's always felt that he doesn't quite belong. 
He doesn't care about money in the way the rest of the family do, and he's certainly not interested in property development at all. In fact, he's very focused on academia, and his ambition is to become an astronaut. This causes quite a bit of contention between him and his father, who really wants both of his sons to become a part of the Bags property empire. So even though Tommy is incredibly smart, motivated and ambitious, Rupert feels quite disappointed in him because his values and the things he wants in life are very different to what Rupert had envisioned for him. So that's the Bags family, let me know what you think of them in the comments. I think we are going to have a lot of fun with them and I can't wait to introduce you to the tenants. In case you're interested to know what I think about the for rent pack, I won't be doing a full review or build by showcase just because so many creators already do that and they do it very well, but I will say I love the build by catalogue in this pack. This is really my first experience of the pack, I haven't tried any gameplay or looked at the cast yet. But in terms of build by, I'm really impressed. I particularly love the new floor tiles. I mean, look at them, they're beautiful. I'm also really pleased to see a new stucco wall with some very pretty colours. You can't really tell from this build, but I am someone who loves to make bright and colourful builds, and the new stucco colours are something I've wanted for ages. One thing I really like about the build by items in this pack is that the theme is really cohesive and matches the world of Tomarang so well. Also, the new hot tub is much nicer than the base game one. However, that's not me recommending the pack, especially if you want to explore the gameplay. As I said, I haven't tried the gameplay yet, but from the videos I've watched it looks like this pack has a number of issues, and some of them are pretty serious, for example not being able to complete tasks for aspirations, and being charged more rent than the amount of money you can actually have in the game even if you cheat. That being said, there is always the possibility that these issues could get fixed, and I am still going to be going ahead with the let's play so I can find out for myself. So all I'm saying is if you're thinking of getting the pack, proceed with caution and maybe hold off until the major bugs are hopefully fixed. And if you've already got the pack, let us know how it's running for you and if you're enjoying it down in the comments. I'll be uploading the second build for this let's play which will be a rundown apartment block and introducing the tenants in another video probably in the new year so if you enjoyed this one be sure to look out for that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon with more cozy games.